Hello, I'm Lauren. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm still filming awkwardly holding the camera on the handheld tripod because my ring light broke. So I just got this in the mail and I wanted to unbox it and show you what was inside. This is the Wild Grain subscription box. Bread, pasta, pastries. So what it is is Wild Grain will send you a selection of frozen like artisan breads that you then take from the freezer and bake and they're amazing and delicious um i hauled i think i did an unboxing in february or for the one um that was the first one i got and my husband absolutely loved it he thought it was fantastic um wasn't terribly thrilled with what was in the March box, or oh, I skipped that. And then I read him what was in the April box, which is this, and he said, yes, get it. So this particular box is $99. And, um, but they ship it to you overnight. Well, actually, it's two days, right? And it is perishable. So you see here, please freeze or refrigerate item until use. And then there's an important message here about like read before opening. There's dry ice in here, dry ice is solid, la 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 la, don't touch it. You might break burn your fingers off with the dry ice. So this just came and I wanted to take you and show you this. So there's some instructions on what to do with the dry ice and place a freezer if items are frozen or still feel cold, as long as they're cold, it's fine. And if they don't feel cold, you should call them and they will, will send you a new one. And don't handle dry ice with bad hands. Damn, I'm like really concerned about the dry ice now. So it just says enjoy right there. Then here is this, and you're gonna flip it open. Oh, the, the, the dry ice. Don't touch it with your hands. I wanna touch it with my hands. I was like, is this styrofoam or dry ice? Okay. So caution, don't touch ice without gloves. Look at all this, don't touch, don't touch. Ugh, I mean, it looks pretty. Okay, nothing happened. I'll just take this part, move it over there. All right, so you can see there's like seven packing peanuts here. And then, oh, more packing peanuts. So we got this that is protecting the dry ice. And there you have what's in here. What you got? It's all still frozen. So this here, what I like about these is the, the instructions are always are on the back too. So this is their sourdough bread. Um, and the ingredients in here are whole wheat, flour, sourdough starter, water, and sea salt. None too shabby, if you ask me. Um, and these instructions are correct. So you bake this from frozen, you put it in the oven at 450 degrees, you bake it until it gets a dark golden brown, and then you let it set for 30 minutes, which is really, really hard. So there's nothing harder than like waiting to eat delicious bread, but it is amazing. So got a sourdough loaf in here. Um, then every bag always comes with these sourdough rolls. So I think you get what, six, eight, two, eight. Eight sourdough rolls in here. Same thing here. You're gonna preheat the oven to 400 degrees, bake until golden brown. These are amazing. Now you may be saying, Laura, didn't you just say you're going back on Jenny Craig? Yes, yes I did, and I am. But my husband eats carbs, and my mother-in-law is here for a month, and she eats carbs. And I have an almost four-year-old who loves carbs. So every month they also switch up some of the different types of bread. So like you always get the rolls, you always get the sourdough starter. But then one of the new, one of like the switched out ones here was this slow fermented herbs de Provence bread. Uh, fermented nutrients, la la la. And this one has dried oregano, rosemary, thyme, honey, and extra virgin olive oil and salt in there. So that sounds amazing. Got that one. Speaking of Jenny Craig, like I don't know if I have any room in the freezers because of my Jenny Craig food. Um, then we've got this one here. This is the slow fermented cranberry pecan bread. And we're like, mm, cranberry pecan bread, that sounds delicious. So this one here, again, like it's got pecans, dried cranberries, crackled wheat, crackled barley, crackled corn, crackled rye, 
crackle flax seeds, hulled millet. It sounds very grainy. It sounds like a very grainy bread. It is a grainy bread. Looks delicious though. All right. Then there's options for add-ons and I added on the English muffins because they sounded delicious and we're like, why not? Let's add on some English muffins. Um, so this was new to them. So added on some English muffins, ingredients, bread flour, water, yeast, salt, cornmeal, canola oil. Yum. Then I think this is what did it for my husband because like he's always like interested in what the the sweet treat is and this month it was caramel sticky buns and he said oh i'm sorry caramel pecan sticky buns and he said oh give me that um can i open this hold on awkward cam angles for you awkward cam angles for you shaking it up oh hello Hi. Oh my God, that looks amazing. <sighs> Little caramel pecan sticky buns. You look good. You look real good. Put you over there. And then every month you get two pastas. And last time I got it, it was the same. It was the Pappardelle. Pappardelle? This was delicious. Like it was amazing pasta. And then the torna tornadelli tornarelli tornarelli pasta this is also amazing like i can't even tell you how it's, it's delicious like this pasta is amazing it's so so good um this here definitely is enough for like four people um but it's really good and i figured like you'd probably spend at least ten dollars on fresh pasta at whole foods or somewhere else so it kind of all works out. I think that's it. That was it in there. Just the packing slip, right? So yeah, $99 seems kind of pricey, but again, when you figure out like artisan breads, if you were to go to like Great Harvest or like any other places, like bread is not cheap. Um, and this doesn't have like a lot of extra crap and ingredients in it. So uh, we thought it was delicious and uh, why not? So that is it. That is my wild grain bread haul. Uh, I'll, if I remember, I'll put a link down below, but you should definitely check them out because they're delicious. So that's all I got for y'all today. See you later. Bye.